Hey guys, in this video I'll be sharing with you some useless information and details about Caesar's Legion, the dictatorship founded in 2247 by Edward Salo, aka Caesar, and Joshua Graham. It models itself after the ancient Roman Empire and occupies large amounts of territory east of the Colorado River, what was once known as Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. Caesar, or Kaiser as some legionaries call him, shares a number of parallels with his historical real-world counterpart, Julius Caesar. Like for instance, the historical Caesar also suffered from a condition similar to the one depicted in-game. He had headaches, blackouts, and even seizures. In terms of appearance, Caesar is balding and has an oculine nose, a sign of nobility in ancient Rome. Also, in Fallout New Vegas, he is 55 years old, and the historical Julius Caesar was assassinated at the age of 56. If you're trying to convince the Great Khans to break their alliance with Caesar, during the quest Oh My Papa, Carl, the Legion Frumentari, will send assassins to take you out. Carl sends his regards. I'm afraid not. Our instructions were very specific. You have to die. If you defeat them all, Carl himself will appear a few days later, dressed in his Legion armor, and attack the player. You've been a persistent annoyance, and I had hoped to avoid this, but it seems I have no choice but to deal with you myself. A unique, terrifying presence speech check can be used against him to make him flee from Red Rock Canyon. No! Caesar's Legion uses two forms of currency, denarius and arius, which were also used in Roman times. They are minted by the Legion from scavenged silver and gold, with each silver coin bearing the profile of a younger Caesar and the words Caesar Dictator, and on the other side showing Caesar, Joshua Graham, and Bill Calhoun with the words Great Abyss, referring to the Grand Canyon, and the gold coin bears the portrait of an older Caesar with Latin text saying, for the eternity of the empire, and on the back, the legion's bowl with the words, peace through war. When the post-game world for New Vegas was still being considered, Joshua Sawyer intended for the legion to mint a commemorative double aureus featuring a depiction of a conquered General Lee Oliver on the front and a symbolism of the courier on the back. There's a two-star challenge called Historical Propriety, added by the Gunrunner's Arsenal DLC, that requires you to kill Caesar with a knife or a combat knife. This challenge is a reference to the death of the real-world Julius Caesar, when the conspiring Roman Senate surrounded him and stabbed him to death with daggers. If you have Arcade Ganon with you as your companion, he will stop you at the entrance of the fort and start a conversation with you. If you tell him you plan to kill Caesar, he will mention the name of the challenge. I have to commend you on your sense of historical propriety, but have you given more than a passing thought to how we would escape? If you decided to fight in the arena, in the Legion's fort, usually your weapons and equipment will get confiscated and replaced with gladiator armor and a machete. But did you know that there are two useful items that will not get removed? One is the rebreather that you can receive from Jack and that has a damage resistance of 3, and Motor Runner's helmet that grants a plus 5 bonus to melee weapons and a plus 1 to perception. Both of these items can be brought in the arena with you because they're quest items and they can't be confiscated. Confiscated. Caesar's Legion was originally meant to appear in Van Buren, the cancelled Fallout 3 project by Black Isle Studios, and in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2. Its concept was created by Chris Avalon. There were a lot more Legion locations planned to appear in the game, according to an early world map of New Vegas, like the Malpais Legionnaire Camp, that's also mentioned by Corporal Sterling. Got myself caught by Legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Camp Willow, which according to the official games guide was a former NCR camp, but was destroyed and occupied by the Legion some time after the first battle of Hoover Dam and Elephant Hill. Not much is known about this place, other than it would have been found east of the Colorado River. The Legion was also once meant to mount an assault on Novak, with the player being able to help and join the battle. If successful, they would have occupied the town. Sadly, this was cut and never occurs in the final game. The profligates here were weak. No fight in them. 
Saving Sergeant Teddy is an unmarked quest in the Legion's fort that requires the player to retrieve Melody's teddy bear from Anthony who took it away from her. Once you get it back, you have two options. Either give the teddy bear back to Melody, resulting in good karma, or tear the teddy bear in half in front of her. Sergeant Teddy! I don't want to talk to you! I hate you! This is a reference to a similar quest in Fallout 2 called Find Mr. Nixon, where the Chosen One finds a child's doll and has the option to tear it apart in front of them. An unused model of Caesar, named Caesar Younger, exists in the game files of the Honest Hearts DLC. He looks very similar to the base game model, but instead of a buzz cut, he has a comb over. At Helios 1, if you activate Archimedes and wipe out the NCR troopers stationed there, two days later Caesar's Legion will occupy it and hold it until the end of the game. What's funny about this is that Fantastic will somehow join their ranks as well. Hey man, when in Rome. Shh, you feel that? That's the winds of change, baby, and Fantastic's riding them with his magical angel wings. They saw what I did for the NCR, how I carried them on my back, brought the fire to the heathens. I wasn't gonna help them, but they begged. Well, somebody begged. Couldn't say who for sure. It's all a blur, you know? Chems, man. What a trip. During the final battle for Hoover Dam, if you wear Legion armor and enter the Legate's camp, the other Legionaries will not attack you, but if you go talk to Legate Linnaeus, he will see right through your disguise and will have this to say. And who is this before me in the colors of the Legion? An envoy, dressed as an insult to all that carry out Kaisar's will. If you skip Nipton on your way to Vegas and kill Volpus and Colta on the Strip, when later visiting the destroyed town, you will encounter a frumentari named Gaben there instead of Volpus. Ha! And we were just finishing up here to think that we might have missed you. If anyone belongs on a cross, it's you. For your crimes against the Legion, you will die. If your reputation is positive or at least neutral with the Legion, you can ask Gaben more detailed questions about the faction and Caesar. The Legion is civilization reborn. Our culture is based on virtues such as martial excellence, loyalty, and justice. But you'll learn all there is to know in due time. Legatus Linnaeus, monster of the East, will soon arrive to command Kaisar's troops in battle. The dam will fall, and the rest of the profligate West will soon follow. What can be said? He's a man of towering intellect, the founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. Kaisar is a salvation of mankind, his Legion the rebirth of civilization in a benighted age. Don't worry, you'll know him well when you serve him, or you'll be dead. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and check out my other videos for even more New Vegas content. Thanks for watching.